this is the road bag it come in this nice anglian road bag Here's the first section, very, very tiny. Very tiny eyes. Um, it's a uh, bluey green, it looks green, but if you catch it on the side of the rod, it's bluey green. Um, and it's virtually brand new, uh, or even though it's old. Um, the end, I believe it's hollow all the way, and it's a um, fiberglass. All the rod is fiberglass. So that's the tip. Here's the second piece. Small eyes again, as you can see. bluey green metallic it's lovely absolutely beautiful rod is it holler all the way yep holler all the way through you can see through it um, it is light or it's very light for me anyway this wind's picking up and this is the butt end again a small light at the bottom so obviously it's not sea rod. Um, East Anglian Rod Company made sea and fresh water. Um, I've only ever seen I've only ever seen sea rods because that's all I've had. But there, here we go. If you can focus on that. What I'll do is I'll guide the real, the camera along the rod, but there it is. Beautiful cork. It's like brand new. Aluminium slider things for your reel and butt cap, which is uh, hardly any scratches on it at all. Um, on it it's a uh, Qualtac, which all my rods say that, but it's East Anglian Rod Company and it says tipster. 13 foot. So let me put the butt cap on. Right. Tip. There's a guide, there's my thumb. You can see how small it is. Very, uh, very thin. This is, uh, another eye another small eye I'm not going to keep saying there's another small eye but there's another one um, where the rod pushes in it's just fiberglass there's no brass or anything it's just been built out to accommodate one to go into the other lovely whippings again small Small. This one here, the one there, the reel, has got a liner on it. Um, again, the here you can see the one section goes into the other, and it's just fiberglass where it's just expanded out. There's not hardly any marks on it. Again, here we go for it says tipster 13 foot and it's an East Anglian rod Qualtac and there's the cork down to the butt cap which hasn't seen a lot of wear and if it has had any wear which it has it's been uh, well looked after um, the rod itself have to get it underneath the tyre of the van. Pray the van don't roll back. The handbrake is good. And 
here it is. That's the tipster. I don't know what it's for, that's why I'm asking you. But here's the rod tip. I forgot me here. Somebody's had a we in the middle of the bloody bay, which is very uh, pleasant. So, put that in there, push it in there. I mean, that's that's still going. I ain't even hardly pulling it. So, so, like you say in the from the comments. I don't think it is a sea rod, I was I was just hoping it was a sea rod. But it is a 13 foot tipster. I never knew fresh water rods were were so long. What on earth would they use a rod this long for? But any help you can give me on that. I know a bit about the company, I know how it was formed, it was bought out and stuff like that. It's just I don't know what the rod is used for and what sort of curtesque what sort of weight I can throw out. I don't I don't understand these um where they say it's got a three pound test curve and all that malarkey. I don't understand that. Obviously I just chuck out lead weights into the ocean. So I'd just like to know what I can cast. I mean if I can use this I suppose I could use this for mackerel. I could use it for mackerel fishing. I presume I could use it for mullet fishing. Um, but they're the only two things I think I could use it for. But if you could let me know, it'd be great. Um, but yeah, that's the rod. Thank you very much.